What is up, Vikings? I hope you had an excellent day. We're playing Chapter 7, The Collision, and I will show you how each of these seven chambers can be solved. I will put timestamps down below so you can jump to the chamber that you want to look at, because especially the first ones are rather easy, even though they introduce a new mechanic, which are those cubes here. So the idea here is you charge one up, and the other one then continues the laser. It's like a, a remote laser. I doubt that physics will be able to do this, but you never know. Anyways, you take the second one and you place it next to the wall, aiming at this one. Then you place one portal here and the other one over there. You can walk through or take the door, whatever. Um, and then take this one in order to open the door. So this is just to understand the mechanic, obviously. So here we are, chamber two. And you want to start by going to the other side first. The cube that you want is over here. So um, just go over here, take the cube and put it on the charge. And once you did this, you are able to go back. Because now this cube is activated. And the idea really is to put it, so to activate the laser and put it on the laser because that will then make the other one shoot as well. You see, this one is shooting as well now. And you need this one in order to open the door. Now you can just go to the other side and that is it. See, slightly more tricky already. Now let's get to chamber number three. And with this one, we will need to start using portals. And we'll put the first one over here. Portal, portal. This one activates and you can shoot. This one like this, so it activates both. Now the trick is, now it's now that it's set up, well you just deactivate the escalator by replacing the red portal, it comes down again. Now that you need now that you know where to aim, you can just redo the portal and lift yourself up. That's it. Which leads us to chamber number four. And let's see, we have one that redirects that doesn't charge up and then we got two charges and we need to activate these two here. And we put one portal here, one portal there, both activated. Take this one here and the other one there. It does work. So we got all three. And we are in creepy chapter number five. What is this thing? I thought it's not a horror game. <laughs> now, in order to solve this, we need obviously two of those cubes. Uh, one is going to be placed on the laser. And we take the other one down and place it like this. And we Put a portal up here, the second one up there. Oh, and I misplaced it, but I can change it again. So now we got the bridge that activated, which we will need. And I will go on top real quick so that I can take this thing here. Activate this one, so I got my bridge. Go down again. And now I'm putting the blue one about here. Which will then allow me to redirect the beam onto this one. And open the door. That's how you can solve it. Chamber number six, and we got jumps, acid, cubes, and turrets. Seems like a nice chamber. Okay, we got a jump and another jump. And okay, the bridge is obviously supposed to open. We got one laser there and a button. Perfect. Where are those cubes coming from? Oh, there. Perfect. Charge one. Obviously, and the other one. Mm, I think we'll place it 
here so that we can just to test it it activates right so these are two portals that we will most likely need to shoot in a second because we need to jump first we're placing one here and the other one there this thing goes down and after getting out of the red one we will place those two portals so let's give it a try swoosh and uh, now there oh that didn't work but in the let's do it again let's go swoosh okay okay you kind of need to be quick but that worked where are we where do we need to go Oh, right. Um, which one did I place? So I take the red one. Take the red one here. And I kind of want to get my laser beam. Take it with me. So that I'm equipped against those turrets. Nice. Oh, and then open the door, obviously. And we're already at the last chamber. Chamber 7 of 7. Let's see what this is. Oh, this looks tricky. Nice. Love it. So the first thing we want to do here, obviously we're going to jump and end up in this tubing. But before we do that, make sure to put a red portal up there. The blue one, we're going to use it in a second. So we're jumping into the tube and get ready to launch the blue one. Right now, so that we jump and land up here in the middle. Now the first thing we do with this jelly is we place a portal down there and a red one over here. So that we get a bouncing area here because we saw earlier we came out of this one, jumped here. And I think it will make us bounce to the other side. And we can leave the red one over here and try to jump into this one and use the blue one. Right, so we're jumping up here into the tubing and over here perfect so far so good now let's make sure we get both of those place one here so we know we got the other one and we can walk through here and make sure we use both of them now the water is out and we're able to redirect the jump and jelly in order to land up here so we need to get up again I will put my red portal here. Oh, wait a second. I will put it a bit further there. Now going back, taking the blue one. Exactly. I placed it a bit further on the right so I don't land on the jelly. Otherwise, I'm not landing close to the button, which I need. Oh, wait a second. I forgot this one. Because it needs to go into the tubing and then onto this one. Perfect. Now, before we leave, we got one over here. We can just take the blue one. It should land on the jumping pad. So it gets into the tubing and on the other side, hopefully, and remains there. Perfect, because we're going to need it at the end. So I am also going into the tube. There we go, into the tube and on the other side. Take this one up here and done. We can exit this thing. And this last elevator will lead us to the boss fight, which is super exciting. So I wish you good luck in case you want to know how to solve it. That is the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Maybe there was a hint that you lacked. I hope so. Because in that case, the video was useful. That's it. Wish you a great day. See you in the next video. Cheers, guys.